Hi there, this is Anthony from AA Jazz and today I'm going to be talking about using Telecasters uh, to play standard jazz. A um, couple of things I want to say about Telecasters in general. Um, Telecasters are great guitars. One of, the, one of the reasons guitar players like them is because of the fact that you can easily change uh, necks and bodies and pickups and electronics and things like that which um, you can sort of customize a Telecaster for specific sounds which is why most Telecaster players have more than one uh, and I do. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to start off with this one right here. This is a G and L Telecaster. The only thing that I have modified on this is this neck is not the original neck. This neck is uh, made by Warmoth. It is a maple back neck with a rosewood fretboard. Um, I'm going to say a quick word about uh, setting up your volume and tone on a Telecaster. I like to start it off with everything turned right down to zero. Start off by turning up your volume to the desired level. Then turn your tone up to the volume, to the desired level. Which to my ears is somewhere around 3 or 4 on a scale of 1 to 10. Alright, so like I said, this is uh, of all my Telecasters, this is the one that I like to use uh, most for playing standard jazz. Like I said, it's a GNL uh, Tele, uh, is uh, semi hollow as you can see by the F hole here. And uh, Warmoth neck, the uh, neck pickup, which is the one that's primarily used for jazz, is a uh, mini humbucker. I'm going to be doing uh, Days of Wine and Roses by Henry Mancini. some chords. from AA Jazz. Uh, I'm going to be uh, showing you Tele number two. This is a Warmoth uh, Telecaster. It is a chambered uh, body, so it's a lot lighter than a solid body. Uh, the neck is pure rosewood, 
and the neck pickup which uh, I'm going to be featuring in this demonstration is a Lawler Charlie Christian pickup for Telecaster. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, I, I feel like the proper way to set up your uh, Telecaster is to have everything turned right down to zero. Uh, set your volume at the desired level and then set your tone which is usually around three or four for me. Alright, this is uh, How High the Moon by Morgan Lewis. Telecaster number three. I am Anthony from uh, AA Jazz uh, demonstrating uh, Telecasters for standard jazz. Um, okay, uh, this Telecaster, this is a solid piece of wood. It was made by someone uh, named Antonio Santorini. Uh, I believe uh, you, could, you could find him on the internet. Uh, uh, anyways, he made this body. The neck is made by Warmoth. It is mahogany back, rosewood uh, fingerboard. Uh, the pickups are Fender noiseless pickups. Um, as you're going to see in a minute, uh, they do not quite live up to their name. They are single coil pickups and they do make quite a bit of noise. As, as you'll see, it's not so bad for live situations, but recording situations, uh, it can be a little annoying. Um, and like I said in some earlier uh, videos, first thing I'd like to do is always set the volume, then set the tone.
Alright, so I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, this Telecaster uh, with the song Moonlight in Vermont. Telecaster number four. This is a Fender Telecaster thin line. Um, now this one uh, I did not modify. These are the pickups that it came with. They are the uh, Fender wide range humbuckers. Uh, but as you can see as I uh, take my hands off it, it does hum quite a bit. Um, the neck is not the original neck that came with this guitar, but it is another Fender neck that I got from another Telecaster which you're going to be seeing in another video. Um, anyways, this is a thin, uh, this was a much thinner um, neck which I liked a lot better than the uh, one that it originally came with which was considerably fatter. Um, other than that, this is pretty much uh, stock Fender uh, thin line Telecaster. So I'm going to play Set it up like I always do, volume first, and then tone, uh, once again I'm using the neck pickup. Uh, this is it's only a paper moon. number five. This is another Fender uh, thin line body. 
um, with quite a few modifications done to it. Uh, the original neck from this Telecaster, uh, I took it off and put it on the other Telecaster uh, that you may or may not have seen on a, another video. Um, what else? I can tell you that this neck is a warmth neck. It is a quarter sun, uh, one piece maple neck. The neck pickup, which I'm going to be featuring in this video, is taken from a Fender Telecaster Carbronita, um, and this is a Gatto bridge. Um, other than that, uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know what else to say about this guitar. This uh, I've put a harmonic design pickup in the bridge, uh, and I think uh, I did it, you know, so I can kind of jump back and forth between jazz stuff and rock and roll stuff. But just like uh, with all all Telecasters, I think you need to set up your volume first, and then set your tone. This guitar is considerably brighter. than the others. Um, it also has a treble bleed, uh, whatever it's called, capacitor or whatever it's called in there. Okay, uh, I'm going to be demonstrating a Kenny Durham song called um, Blue Bossa. <laughs> I'm going to play the same uh, chord melody that I played in with some of the other Telecasters. Mm -hmm. 